Hi, I'm John Volker, the editor of Green Car Reports, and I'm here for About.com to tell you the five things you should know about hybrid vehicles. First thing, this is a Toyota Prius, but not every hybrid car is a Toyota Prius. In fact, the Prius, which is the most popular hybrid globally by far, is what we call a dedicated hybrid. There is no plain gasoline Prius. The only Prius that's made is a hybrid car. But a lot of other hybrids from Honda, from Ford, from General Motors, from Nissan, and from Toyota, a lot of those hybrids look just like regular cars. You actually have to read the badge, look on the trunk to see the little hybrid logo in order to know that they're actually hybrid electric vehicles because you wouldn't be able to tell otherwise. They have the same equipment underneath them that a Prius does, but in fact, they're otherwise regular cars and your neighbors will never know until you tell them. The second thing you need to know about hybrid cars is that there are essentially two different types of hybrids. We call them mild hybrids and full hybrids. This Toyota Prius is a full hybrid because it can drive up to a mile at low speeds purely on electricity. The engine under here doesn't go on in that case. Whereas a mild hybrid, in fact, can't do that. It still has a battery pack, it still has an electric motor that assists the engine, but the engine is going to be on at all times, except when you're coming to a stop and it switches itself off. Now, many people think of a hybrid as a full hybrid, something that can move itself on electricity. And you have to admit, that's kind of a cool factor as well. The way it breaks down is that Toyotas, Fords, Nissans, and General Motors vehicles, Chevrolets, uh, GMCs, and Cadillacs, all of those hybrids are full hybrids that can move themselves a little bit on electric power. Honda is the company that mostly makes mild hybrids, the ones that don't switch into EV mode. The third thing you need to know about hybrids is that they're best in urban usage, stop and go traffic. Think taxi cab in rush hour in Tokyo or in Manhattan. That kind of constant stop and go, accelerate and brake is gravy for hybrids because every time you brake, you recapture wasted energy and recharge the battery and a lot of that moving forward or the stop and start can be done entirely on electricity and the gasoline engine may never go on. Hybrids will give you better gas mileage if you drive 300 miles a day at 80 miles an hour, but you'll get less of an improvement because there the gasoline engine is on all the time. The brilliance of a hybrid is that it switches off its engine when you're coming to a stop or at low speeds. And if you can't do that because you're on the freeway all the time, you get a little bit less of an improvement. The fourth thing about hybrids is that the electric components really are durable. And my best example of that is there are a couple of dozen cities all across the globe where large numbers of hybrids are used in taxi service. Some of them have accumulated two, three, 400,000 miles of use. The electric stuff and the battery pack work just fine. So the hybrid electric components, the motors, the battery pack and so forth, that stuff really is durable and it has a long warranty on it as well. The reliability rates on those parts are average to better than average for all parts of the car. The fifth and final point that you need to know about hybrid cars, and this is something the manufacturers won't necessarily tell you, is that the mileage increase is lower if the weather is cold. That's because the battery pack has to warm up to its best operating temperature. That takes longer and you have to devote more energy to keeping it warm. You devote more energy to running a heater. All of those things add up to the gasoline engine operating a little bit more when it's very cold out than it does when the temperatures are nice and temperate. Thanks for watching. For more information, visit us on the web at about.com.